What could, happened? Well, uh, we got a, a phone call. My daughter was here. She's 15 years old. She was home alone. Um, my wife had to run some errands, and uh, we got a disturbing phone call. Said someone had broken into the house. And uh, when we got to the scene, cops were everywhere, and uh, evidently someone had kicked the door in and uh, trying to, trying to, you know, rob the place. Tell me what your daughter did. Well. Uh, she did what she was supposed to do. She went upstairs, she hid, she called 911 and uh, let the officers uh, take charge at that point. She stayed on the phone with she them? She did, she stayed on the phone with them the entire time. And uh, the first officer on the scene, he was able to catch the guys uh, red-handed. You know, one of the guys was trying to uh, load a TV inside the car and I believe the other suspect was in the house while that was going on. So um, I'm very blessed and lucky that uh, you know, no harm was done to my daughter, uh, and they caught the guys. You know, I couldn't ask for anything else. You got to be very proud of her. For I am. I am very, very, very proud. She's a little shaken up right now. We all are, but you know, we're, we're okay. I mean, proud, but that that's a scary moment. She's in the closet talking to police while she can hear these guys. Yes. Uh -huh. Describe that a little bit. I mean, what what did she hear? What was going on? Well, she heard something a big boom, which um, at that time I believe they kicked the door in. And um, she was able to look over the balcony and see where the woodwork off the door had been broken. And uh, she immediately knew that something was wrong then. So she then at that point went to the restroom and locked herself inside the restroom and uh, called 911. You got to be proud of her. I am very, mm -hmm, very proud. How's very it proud and very lucky. Makes you a little nervous? Uh, it's it's uh, violated, feel very violated. You know, it's a very uncomfortable feeling, you know. Um, like I said, I'm blessed. I thank the Lord they caught the guys and, you know, uh, she's okay. That's all that matters. Everything else can be replaced. What would you say to these guys if you could talk to them? I'd rather not say on camera, guys. All right. Understood. Tell us a little more about your girl. 15, what grade is she in? She's uh, she's 15. She's a, uh, she'll, she'll be in 10th grade this year. Is she just the type to kind of take control of a scene like that? I mean, that's well, we scary. don't. I mean, we don't know. You know, you don't know until you're in this type of situation. But from what she's been taught and told, you know, if anything like this or any kind of emergency happens, you know, to call 911. You know, so she did exactly what she was uh, taught to do. So, yeah. could I get your name, sir? My name is Quincy Bland. And spell it, spell it, please. Q U I N C Y. Last name Bland. B L A N D. How long you guys lived here? Uh, I've been here seven and a half years now. Oh, that's a good. Long yeah. Time. Yeah. No problems. Well, it's it's, it's been some crime. They've been a few break-ins. A uh, couple of cars been stole out the neighborhood. So uh, you know, uh, we we've seen that uh, time ago. But it, I mean, you know, just not this close to home. So. I wonder why they picked your house. Don't, you don't any know. idea? I, I have just, not a clue. Just random. A, I'm, I'm, it seems to be out of took a look at suspects and I don't know them. Uh, I never met them before in my life, but um, you know, I, I'm thinking maybe they just saw a car, no car in the driveway. Just random choice. And yeah, just random choice.
and get them going back again. How you doing?